What is up you guys, I'm Tony Fuentes and today we're animating our photographs in Premiere Pro and in Photoshop to give them a bit of a dolly zoom. So let's get into it. So for this edit guys we're going to use two programs. First of all we're going to use Photoshop and then we're going to pass into Premiere Pro to animate the images. So in this case I took two images on the field. The first one is one with a subject and the second one without. Again, this is another example, me with the binoculars in focus and then the background out of focus. So having two images will allow you to create a separation between the foreground and the background and move them all independently. So the first thing that we have to do is erase the background from the ones with the subject. So let's get into it. So let's go and select the subject. I'm gonna use the quick selection tool in combination with the magic lasso. Once we've selected, right click, invert selection, and we can delete the background. Now we can save this image as a PNG file and move on to the next one. So we do the same with this one. Again, once we finish with that, we can invert the selection and delete the background and save this image as a PNG. Now we're gonna jump into Premiere Pro and do all the animating. So once in Premiere Pro, you import all your clips, you can do this with Ctrl I on your keyboard or simply by dragging them into the media tab. So let's start off with this one. First we're going to drag in the background and on top of it we're going to drag in the image of the subject. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the background and go to Effects Control. Now if you don't see Effect Controls, you can go to Window and select it over here and we're going to go into Motion. So what I'm going to do is create a zoom effect for the background and for the subject. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to scale and select the little watch over here. Now I've created a keyframe over here and we're going to move in all the way down to the last part of the clip and we're going to create another keyframe and you can see it's appeared right here and we're going to scale this or we'll move the scale up ever so slightly right around there. Then I'm going to select the layer of the subject, go all the way to the start, again select the watch and I'm going to zoom in this one as well, just a little bit more. We're going to zoom in at the end to 140. Okay, and that's about it. So let's quickly do the other example. So in this case, drag the background again and then drag the foreground. In this case, what we're going to do is the dolly zoom effect. So the background is going to be zooming out. Meanwhile, the subject is going to be zooming in. So again, select the background go to effects controls, set the scale up, we're going to zoom in, maybe around there, hit the time frame, go all the way to the end and select another keyframe and put the scale to 100, just around there. Again, now we select the subject, we're going to descale him down just a bit, around there, select the watch again and all the way to the end, just zoom in whatever you want maybe to a 100% and just like that now we go to file export media and here I like to set h264 for the format and use maximum render quality as well render a maximum bit depth of course and then we're gonna export and that's it for this tutorial guys remember to tag me in anything that you make on Instagram if you did like the video, can you please give it a like? It really makes a difference and consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload the next video. I'm Tony Fuentes. Cheers to all of you and see you in the next one.